sup that casual limiter and what are we talking about today today <laughs> we're talking all about renown so what even is renown i personally didn't even know what it did until about five hours of game time and even then i had to go and google it you get renown for doing pretty much any action in pretty much every single game mode in the game so what does renown do renown unlocks your feats within the battle it is that simple and for a lot of you <laughs> that that might be you know that might be good enough to go off but this does leave us with a lot of questions such as how much renown do i need to level up my feats is renown needed per level up always the same does it change on a level to level basis is it the same for every single class does your feats you choose change the total needed what about the different types of renown gain how does that influence it and why is it such a buggy mess so <laughs> Feel free to skip ahead for the super basic summary or stick around and let's see how weird this all gets. So let's get started. So question one, how much renown do you need to unlock your feats? Now this should be pretty easy to do if not time consuming. After all, all you have to do is add up little numbers down here, uh, do it multiple times and then you should get a fairly accurate number. But you know what, I can't be bothered. Here's a much more effective way to count the renown needed. Step 1. Play in Dominion mode. We need catcher points. Step 2. Get a bud to catch the point and then get him to move off it. Step 3. Now move on to the point and just sit on it. We can see it now ticks up slowly. And step 4. Just go and make a cup of tea and do something meaningful. Such as watching paint dry, working on your Mr. Krabs fanfiction, and generally reflecting on your poor life choices. So I'll be back in a bit. Two thousand years later. All right, so this is what I got. With the Roach, I reached level four with 1,675 renown. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but it doesn't quite sound right. So I did it again with the Warden. And to get to level four, it only took me 670 renown. Now that sounds a bit better, but uh, what the hell is going on? Why is one almost three times as much? At first I thought perhaps the feats influence it somehow, but doing our quick test shows it's the same regardless. So, what is happening? At first I thought it's something to do with renowned types, so <laughs> let's cover that quick. So, what are the renowned types? These simply explain at the rate your character can earn renown. Some classes get a bonus for certain actions, while others don't. And I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know about this, since the only way to see this is to look at your move list in battle. You cannot see this data from any other menu. Oh dear. There is four different types, and your renown type is dictated by your class. Here are the four modes. All vanguards gain more renown from controlling objectives and killing soldiers. All heavies earn more by defending objectives and assisting. All assassins earn more renown for simply killing players. And finally, all hybrid classes earn renown equally across all activities. The question is, how is this bonus applied? Is it a fixed percentage? So do you get like 20% more for doing certain actions? Is it a simple additive bonus? Well, after a quick bit of testing, it is actually rather simple. <laughs> well, kind of. Let's just look into Dominion mode for now, since there's the most ways to earn renown. Now, this bonus is applied on a case-by-case -case basis. For example, all Vanguard classes get 2 renown for killing the little soldiers, 15 for capturing a point, and 35 for a revive. Meanwhile, all Assassin classes get only 1 Renown for killing a soldier, 10 for a point captured, and 30 for a res. And here are the heavy and hybrid tables too. Pretty simple right. But does this explain why Assassins needed so much more Renown to get to level 4 earlier? Uh, no, it doesn't, not really, but I can prove what happened now. Whenever you kill a soldier, you get either 1 or 2 Renown, but your score also goes up by an equal amount. So, just by killing soldiers, we can easily track the total renown. We can see the Warden unlocks all their feats at approximately 335 renown slash score. But what about the Orochi? Well, it turns out, despite taking twice as long, since they only earn one point per kill, it is the exact same number. In fact, all the breakpoints are correct. So, to double check these breakpoints, I did it again, but this time only capturing points across multiple classes. It too fitted this pattern, and I did it again for reviving, which also worked. So it seems that score 
perfectly matches our total renown. <laughs> now, I'm sure you figured out what went wrong in their very first test. Before, I needed over a thousand renown, so why did it only take 335? Well, that's because, come on, come closer, this game is a lying little shit. <laughs> Seriously, there is a reason why it seems to be mismatched. If you catch up the scoreboard open, despite the numbers down there being different, we earn the feats at the expected score. So, what's the conclusion? Well, the renown down here is actually lying to us. So the renown we're getting is actually a decimal number. It is less than one. And the output is simply being rounded up to one. Now it also explain why the bug down here happens. Odds are it's a number that's very close to zero and it's been rounded down. Odds are it's an unsigned integer and it can only be positive and therefore it gets overflowed up to this really big number. Even better, after checking the footage frame by frame, we can also work out how much renown you get per second. And here it is. This all means we can reliably know exactly when we all learn a feat. Better yet, since the scoreboard is the sum of all renown across all players, we can easily see if our teammates or opponents have a certain level of feat. So is it as simple as this? If you see anyone with a score higher than 335, do they have their level 4 feats? Well, the bad news is no. It is slightly adjusted across the game modes. Your total renown needed and your renown gain is slightly different. For example, in elimination mode there's no points or soldiers, so if renown types existed here it would be very unbalanced. So as far as I can tell, all renown gain is completely equal and renown types do not exist. All classes get 20 renown per res, and this is how much you need to level up. Interestingly, this means all classes can reach level 2 with just 2 revives. That's pretty neat to know. But how about skirmish mode? In so skirmish mode there is small soldiers but not catcher points. In this mode it has only been slightly tweaked, but mostly it's just the totals that have changed. For each level of feat you will need this much total renown, with 220 for your level 4 feat. And not to forget, in other game modes you can earn renown, but since there's no feats, there's no bloody point. So, let's recap. And hello again to you guys who skipped ahead. Renown unlocks feats, it is the only thing it does. Do not trust the number down here, it lies at times and it can be a bit buggy. Instead, look at your score. Your score is your total amount of renown. There's no way to add your score that isn't also adding equal renown, so if your score equals this amount in Dominion, you will unlock that feat of that rank. The amount of renown or score you need is slightly adjusted in each game mode to stop imbalance among the renown types. You will need these amounts in these game modes. These numbers might be off by a point or two, but it is pretty damn close. So, just by opening the score, you can easily work out how much more renown you need. Uh, all you have to do is press tab, I think on keyboard, or select. And this is way more helpful than that empty blank bar down there. You can even know what rank feet your teammates and opponents have. So, I think that just about wraps all up. So, <laughs> thanks for sticking it through. I'd also like to really thank my testers, I put these guys on screen, thanks for sticking with me for this very long and lengthy data testing, and hopefully you guys also enjoyed this too. In the future I might test out some other data inside For Honor, mostly because I'm really annoyed that the game throws a lot of data your way, but it has no context. I mean honestly, what does this bar even mean? What percentage improvement is it? But anywho, that is enough rambling out of me. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Oh, I checked the description for links to disables. Bye guys.